guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be eating McDonald's and answering some questions about just getting to know me a little bit better. And then I kind of want to talk a little bit about 2020 and then what I want <laughs> to get from 2021. Um, so let me show you guys my meal. Sorry, you can't see it. I did take a bite already, but I got a 10 piece chicken nug. So good. I always count my nuggets <laughs> to make sure there's actually 10. I have 10 today. And then I also got, of course, a medium fry, three ranches, and a large Diet Coke because I am obsessed with soda. So let's finish this nugget before we jump in. So I kind of want to quickly talk about 2020. Obviously, it's been horrible. Obviously. I mean, people have lost parents, children, cousins, aunts, friends. Like, there's been so much loss from this year. So, obviously, I'm not going to discredit that it's been a horrible year. But I do think there, there were some changes that kind of came out of this year that hopefully will carry on to the next year and the year after that. Um, for example, like... The Black Lives Matter movement, like I think there's been some change there and just kind of a wake up call for the rest of us to say like this has been going on forever and now it's time to like you're a little late but now it's time to really let's take some make some change on this. So hopefully change it will come from that. That was like scary of course like for like the protesters but it was just like history. Like we are literally living in history. So um, truly amazing. So I'm hopeful for that. I'm hopeful for our president. We'll see. And I also like want to recognize like how hard it was for like healthcare workers. I have a lot of friends that are nurses and like just hats off to them because they're going through hell right now. Like they, and they have been for the past 11 months or 10 months, whatever. So, and then delivery driver, grocery store clerks, everyone, essential workers, like hats off to you guys. You guys need a raise, a drink and a nap. <laughs> This year, I started a practicum. I learned a lot about myself. I started going to therapy, which has been amazing. I've always wanted to go. I just think like I'm in the mental health, I work in the mental health field. So I think everyone needs therapy. Like you all, everyone has something to talk about. It doesn't have to, you don't have to have like a something traumatic happen to go to therapy. So, um, yeah. I also have gotten back into reading. I read a little bit over the summer on vacation and then. In between semesters, I always read because I read so much during the semester that I don't read um, during it. <laughs> I'm just thankful that my family's healthy, I'm healthy, and I have a stable job. Like, so thankful. Like, these are, there are things like you don't always think to feel super grateful for, but like just like simple things, food, water, roof on your head. I can go on and on. There's a lot that we need to, I need to recognize more and just recognize like the privilege and the how grateful I really am and not to complain about the small things. Um, so my goals for 2021, It is going to be a huge year for me. 
probably one of my biggest ears yet so i will be graduating in may with a master's in psychology then i will get a new job that pays a lot more hopefully <laughs> Um, and then I will also, this is something new, I'm blo I'm blogging about it, but I'm going to be moving soon, hopefully. Um, I'm not going to give it all away, but I looked at an apartment last night and I really loved it. I'm going to apply for it tonight. It's in a really good area, trust me. It's just time. Um, I just wanted to get in my own place before I graduate and before I get a new job because I can I don't do well super well with all that change. So those are my three goals. And I just want to um, manage my anxiety and I. I have to go a spin bike for Christmas. So that should be coming soon. And I want to just stay really consistent with that as I'm eating McDonald's. But yeah, stay consistent with that. So yeah, that's kind of my little roundup of 2020 and 2021. I don't think that in Today's the 30th. I don't think in two days ever all of our problems are going to go away. Can we breathe a sigh of relief that 2020 is over and that we all, that we did the best we can through it? Yes, but I don't think our challenges are close to being done. Okay, that was so depressing. Let's jump into some of these questions. What are your life goals? Hmm. Let's say I'm gonna break it down into categories. So career-wise, a life goal is to there's a lot of gaps in the healthcare system. And I would love to create a program or manage a program that maybe fills one of those, some of those gaps. Um kind of like be like a director or something. I just be really happy with my job and still making a difference. Um, I want to be uh, financially stable. I want to live comfortably. I want to have a family. Have a husband. I want to live in a like an older home. I go I just love older homes. They have so much character. I want a dog. <laughs> I don't know. Those are all like material things, but just to be happy, I want to travel more. I want to have more hobbies that isn't TV. <laughs> so what is your go-to fast food order? So McDonald's, it's just this 10 piece nugget, medium fry, extra ranch, Diet Coke. Wendy's the four for four. Um, Taco Bell. You guys tried that cheesy taco at Taco Bell? It's phenomenal. Your dream job as a kid. I <clears throat> wanted to be a zookeeper. I love animals. I used to have like tons of animal books. I would just stare at them. A lot of dog books, so. Yeah, I wanted to be a zookeeper. Um, or a teacher, but I feel like every, every little kid wants to be a teacher. Who are your favorite YouTubers? That's a good one. Um, so, it depends what I, I'm looking for. So, makeup, Juicy Jazz, Shandexo. Um, those are my main two for that. I find it very... I find it very relaxing and it's a good one to watch like, at the end of the night. I'm trying to fall asleep. 
um, for I also like vlogs so Brooke Michio is like one of my faves one of my new favorites is Rachel Racky I love her vlogs she is so like she's also very relaxing and I feel like like relatable I don't know uh I really like her oh my okay I have two more questions now I'm like done eating I'm such a fast eater so the first one is do you remember your first email address and was it embarrassing yes and yes <laughs> my first email address was M dog E M D O G G one oh one three six at Gmail and at Yahoo. <laughs> I had that whenever I was in probably middle school and then I had to make a new one when I was applying for colleges because I cannot be applying for colleges with M dog one oh one three six at gmail dot com. But I like applied for jobs with that email, it's kinda weird, I don't really know. Um, when was the last time you embarrassed yourself? It was the week before Christmas. I was down, um, in the city and I was paying my, I parked and I was paying my parking meter on the app on the phone and I wasn't really looking, but I'm always down there. So, like, it wasn't a, like, weird thing. Like, I knew where I was. And I was walking, and I fell and on my face. Face first, cracked my work phone. And um, there were cars around. I thought I was bleeding. I couldn't get up. It was a, it was a mess. And it was very embarrassing. And I'm not very clumsy i was just i guess distracted and dumb <laughs> okay guys that is it um sorry i look so bad by the way this was very spontaneous um but i hope you guys are doing well happy new year happy 2021 i hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy um i am going to be cranking out some really fun content especially if i get this apartment so I look forward to what has to come in the future. I hope you guys all had a good holiday and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.